This is with um, the multi-crystalline panel. He's going to fill the pump with, prime the pump. Hey, you can uh, put this so it points back in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And turn turn off the main water. There you go. Okay, this is being run by a multi-crystalline panel. Then we're gonna check the voltage. Yep, good. I'll do you. It's cloudy now. This is the thin film. This is the multi-crystalline. As you notice, the water flow is down. But that's because it's cloudy right now. Here comes the sun back out and you see the water pressure goes up. Cloudy. There's a cloud over the sun, but the pump is still running, but barely. As the sun's intensity increases, the flow will increase. The sun is completely blocking right now. No, make one see. Oh yeah, you want to change with the low light? Okay, yeah, good idea. Okay. So with the polycrystalline, it doesn't, uh, the, the sun's behind the clouds and it's not working. So now we will show the difference when you use a, use the thin film panel. As you notice, the thin film panel puts out more light under low light conditions. As you see, it's still cloudy, but it's pumping water. Okay, it's a very big test here to show and prove why thin film is better than poly or monocrystalline. The connection is to the thin film panel now and it would not work without direct sunlight on the polycrystalline panel. This is a very good example. The sun's going to come back out here in a minute through that cloud and you will see the pressure is going to increase.
Okay, as you can probably notice, the sun is clearing the clouds now. And the, the uh, pump's output should increase. As you see, the intensity increased and the pump's flow increased.